So at this point, there's two things that you gotta do. First, make sure that the flat sides of the propeller pieces are facing downwards. If one or both aren't, take them off and flip them around. Secondly, the blades of the propeller must be in between each other. This can be done by taking the gear off and skipping it one or two teeth at a time. Repeat this process until the propeller blades are in between each other. Here, cut yourself out a two and a quarter inch long piece of rubber band, preferably a wide one. Then, attach it to that bushing you just put on. There are multiple ways to do this, but I'm using a pair of scissors to make one end of the rubber band kind of pointy so I can squish it between the axle and the bushing. If you're gonna repeat after me, I recommend you do the same thing to the other side of the rubber band too. So here's where the real challenge begins. Take off this top piece and rotate the gear clockwise until the rubber band wrapped around the bushing one and a half times. But first, move the stopper all the way back. This is very important. You will also need to wrap the rubber band about one time around this bushing here. You can just reach down and pull it out and then wrap it around it once and then put it back. Also, don't forget to add a small rubber band between these two pins. This rubber band is what generates the clicking sound. <laughs> 